Hello everyone, I'm back. Uh, we're here to talk about the India-Pakistan game that happened recently. So, this is Rehan and I'm recording yet another shellcast from the ICC Women's T20 World Cup, the 2024 edition. So, uh, India-Pakistan clash, like the topic itself suggests that India play too cautiously, uh, that all hurt their, really hurt their chances of qualification. Uh, in a way, uh, like, New Zealand gave us one hell of a beating, beat us by 58 runs, our net run rate went to something around minus 2 points, something if I'm not wrong, and to recover from that is going to be something like really difficult, and uh, the way India played was definitely not a way to recover from it in any way, uh, while trying to chase about 103, uh, dragging it till like the end overs, 104 something, 5 something close to that. Yeah, dragging it till the death overs for uh, such a rather meager total. Uh, it was really, really poor batting effort from India. The bowlers did pretty well, but the fielders have let them down once again. But there was visible improvement from Richa Ghosh, uh, like from dropping to the dropping the skier, uh, a dolly of a catch to taking uh, a blinder uh, behind the wicket. Uh, so that's something that was uh, visible as well like right before the game started Amol Muzumdar was working with Asha Shobna and Richa Ghosh working on their feeling skills and only one seemed to have improved because uh, Asha uh, Shobna like seems to act like a north pole and a north pole when the ball comes to her uh, it just repels her in every way possible uh, the, like her hands and the ball just do not meet ever there is some law of energy, which I do not know what it happens when she's fielding. Uh, but it's not that's not the case when she's bowling, though. Uh, it seems like she's got the ball on a string. Uh, quite a, quite the spin wizard traps the batters for room uh, and like quicker through the air slightly. Uh, and like even when she's uh, bowling her like when she's giving it flight, she tries and takes it above the batter's eye level. So. It gives the batter less time to play the ball because they see it much later. It's much closer to them when they see it. So, like a hell of a bowling effort all round. Uh, Arundhati Reddy, uh, Renika Singh Thakur's power play overs. Uh, she was in some sort of a downward spiral. Uh, a leg cutter that sort of seemed like an outswinger. An off cutter that seemed like an outswinger rather. A hell of a delivery. This is something that we commonly see in women's cricket, not as much in men's cricket. Because uh, women's cricket, we have uh, speeds that are more ideal for lateral movement, uh, especially in terms of seam bowling. Uh, so we see a lot more degree of swing in women's cricket than men's cricket. So the paces that these uh, the uh, women bowl at are much more suited for this. Our batting was just poor all round. And... Uh, yeah, like I think we scored about four, five boundaries in the entire innings. Uh, f- four because like Sajana Sajeevan's boundary should not have even been counted because they had already run two and they won the match before the ball reached the boundary. So there's yet another glaring umpire error in this uh, Women's T20 World Cup. That's two like bizarre decisions. Uh, and both have been in the India games, or at least those are the games I've been following properly. Uh, but if there have, I've missed other ones. So yeah, uh, we definitely need to win the game against Australia, which will prove to be quite a task considering like who the mighty Australians are. They're filled like from one to eleven. They're filled with all-rounders. This was the group of death from the very beginning, and India sh- could not could not have afforded to lose the first game by 58 runs. And not only did they do that, they play, they, like, Pakistan would have been their, like, one of their easiest games in this group. And they bottled that by just taking it so close for such a meager target. So, yeah, qualification hopes now stem, might stem on other teams if we don't manage to beat Australia. And that's never a good position to be in. So, fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. Wishing all the best to our girls in blue.